Hello and welcome to this R tutorial. In the following tutorials, we will be implementing multiple linear regression in R. And right now, as usual, we are going to start with the basics, which is to set R folder as working directory. So right now I'm on my desktop. I'm going to my machine learning AZ folder, then part two regression. And then we want to go to multiple linear regression. And here is the folder. Make sure that you have the 50startups.csv file. And if that's the case, you're ready to click on this more button here to set the folder as working directory. All right. Now let's start with step one, which is to prepare the data to make our multiple linear regression ready to be built. So as usual, we're going to use our template, the data preprocessing template that we made in part one. And we're just going to copy this, copy and paste it here. All right. And now let's take care of the few things to change. So first we will change the name of the data set, which is here 50 startups. All right, 50 startups.csv. We can select this and execute to have a look at our data set. Here it is, and that's the data set. I'll remind what this data set is about. So this contains information of startups, actually 50 startups, and these informations are some amount of money spent. So for example, there's the amount spent in R&D, administration, marketing, and finally there is also the state in which the startup operates. And finally, we have a last column here, which is the profit. And that's the profit we want to predict with our multiple linear regression models. And we want to predict that profit based on this independent variables, which are the R&D spend, the administration, marketing spend, and the state. So we are doing this because we are doing a mission for investors who want to know in which startup they should invest their money. And so not only they want to predict the future profits for new startups based on the same information, but also they want to see which independent variable has the highest effect on the profit and which one governs the relationship between the profit and those independent variables. Is there an independent variable that has a highest effect than another one? Does the state in which the startup operates have an impact on the profit? We'll find that out thanks to our multiple linear regression model in R. And thanks to this model, the investors will be able to draw some insights from our results. Okay, so now the next sub-step of the first step data preprocessing is to split the data set into the training set and the test set. But is it the sub-step we need to do right now? I know that the template is suggesting that, but let's not forget that in our data set, we have one specific variable which should strike our attention. Well, it's this one. It's the state variable because it contains categories, which means it's a categorical variable. And remember, when we have a categorical variable like this with categories written in text, this would cause some issues in our machine learning model equations. Because how do you want to make a linear equation with one of the variable written as text wouldn't make any sense. So what we're going to do, of course, is to encode the state variable. And to do this, we are going to use what we learned in part one data preprocessing. Only we didn't include that in the template because this will actually be one of the only examples where we'll need to encode our categorical data. We put it in a separate file. And so right now we're going to open this separate file. So I'm going to jump back to my folder part one data preprocessing, which is here. And here we go. So the categorical data R file is here. So let's open it. Here it is. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this copy. So you have the same file, so you can also take it from your folder or take it from the course. And let's go back to our multiple linear regression file and paste that here. Okay, then of course we need to change 
a few things here. So we need to change the name of our categorical variable. So in part one, it was country and here it is state. Okay, same here. We need to change country by state. Let's not forget to align this. This is very important in R and in any programmation language. Here we go. There. And now we need to change the levels. So before you know, the categorical variable was the countries and the three categories were France, Spain and Germany. And here our three categories are New York, California and Florida. So let's do it on our data set. Actually, I will close that because we no longer need it. So here our levels are, we said New York, California, and Florida. Okay. And then the labels, that is the numeric numbers, which are actually factors, the numeric factors that are going to replace these three texts here, New York, California, and Florida, are these numbers you choose here for labels. So here we have one, two, three. That means that New York is going to be one, California is going to be two, and Florida is going to be three. So you're going to see, I'm going to select this and execute. All right, and now let's look at our data set. As you can see, the state is now encoded with the one, two, three values. So one for New York, two for California, and three for Florida. Let's go back. Okay, so the encoding is done, and that's a much better thing for our model. Now, our model has a greater chance to work. And now the last thing we need to do is to split the data set into the training set and the test set. So here, let's not forget to change the name of the dependent variable here, which is not purchased, but profit. All right. And then we need to change a split ratio if necessary. Let's see, we have 50 observations. So a good split would be to have 40 observations in the training set and 10 observations in the test set. So that makes actually an 80% split ratio, 80% going to the training set. And this is already what we have. Perfect. So we don't have to do anything here for the split ratio. And we are ready to take all of these and execute and here we go let's have a look at our training set and our test set here it is that's the training set okay so it contains 40 entries for the observations great we have our encoded variable for state that's perfect and then the test set that contains 10 observations and everything looks fine all right, so uh, let's go back to multiple linear regression. And the last step is feature scaling. But as for simple linear regression, we won't need to apply feature scaling manually. This will be taken care of with the function that we're going to use to fit multiple linear regression to our training set. So we're all fine. We're all good here. We are ready to move on to the next step. And that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching this one and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, enjoy.